Yesterday might have marked the release of two new Pendulum tracks, but today marks the release of a brand new version of Central Control. Let's dive in. Since we last spoke almost two months ago, a lot's been going on behind the scenes. Not only have we been using Central Control on our own shows, but you've been using it a lot too. Here's a few pictures of it in action. Anyway, let's take a look at what's new in version 1.3. The demand to support PI Engineering's excellent range of X keys control surfaces has been massive. And in 1.3, we support a wide variety of models. This means you can use X keys with a whole new range of devices that you never could before, including this one. Newtex Freeplay is probably the most widely used instant replay server on the market today, and integrating it into central control was a no brainer. This will allow users to use a wide variety of controllers, such as the X keys we've just seen, or something like this the Akai APC Mini. Can we get a replay of that? Let's talk about compact digital audio mixers. Mixers like the Soundcraft UI series have been quickly sweeping the market due to their capability, small footprint, and affordability. However, the one thing they've always lacked is the tactile response that real faders and buttons gives you. Well, no more. With Central Control 1.3, you can map buttons and faders to commonly used functions such as channel level, mute, or solo. The list goes on. This also takes full advantage of our control layering. We're counting down the days until we can add support for more of these kind of devices. On the subject of countdowns, Iris Down's countdown timer is a great solution for countdown clocks and timers to show your on-air talent. We've added support for it in this version so you can control it from all your favorite devices. When the countdown timer finishes, a virtual button is fired allowing automatic triggering of commands. Now, they say time stops for no man, but now it does. Here's one a few of you asked for. Since the start, we've been able to stack multiple commands to a single button, which would all be executed instantaneously. Now we're able to insert time delays between commands, allowing for sophisticated timing in command stacks. For total flexibility, we've also added the ability to easily reorder commands in the stack. The generic MIDI device has also had an update allowing you to send MIDI notes and control changes to any MIDI port on the system. Combine this with a MIDI loopback driver and you are able to control any MIDI mappable application using devices in central control. Or you could just do this. That'll be it for this video. For a full list of changes, check the central control blog. We'll also be giving away a free license code when we hit 500 likes on the Facebook page. So be sure to give the page a like to be in for a chance of winning. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.